So yeah, this time will be more interesting. Hi guys, so welcome back to Main I'm here. Well, today I'm gonna be talking about similarities between Minibu and Thai. Do you guys remember my last similarities between Thai and Minibu language? I sit here with the same background, also with the same <laughs> baby. So it's gonna be like continuation. <laughs> okay, so <coughs> okay, let's talk about this. This time will be more interesting because you know all the things. Oh, you don't look good. I will bring a little bit of my bang. So yeah, this time will be more interesting. Oh, I don't look good too. What? So as I said, this time is more and more interesting because I prepare very, very nice. It's not just new languages, but some other things like places, cultures, foods, um, dress, and dances that very similar between us. All right, so. Let's start from the first one. Well, last time I visited um, Gangwon, okay, and I I saw one um, lion statue. Actually, in Thai, we also have a lot in you know in so many temples. Well, even some houses there also give the lion statues in front of the house. You know, two lion statues, yeah, two of them. That one we call Rupan Singto. And the second one is Try of Household God. I have seen this in lots of houses in Manipur when I visited last time. In Thailand, we call it San Prapun. Well, you guys might call it Lai San. I have seen a lot of stores are selling this one as well. In Thailand, we also have like that. As soon as we open the gate, we will see that Try of Household God before we enter the house. Third is food. The first thing is fermented fish, ngari. In Thai, we call para, para, which is we also add this ngari. We add this fermented fish in several type of Thai menu, Thai food. Second is fermented bean. Well, it's hawaija, right? So in Thai, we call tao jiao, which is this word is derived from Chinese word actually. The third thing for food is sticky rice. Oh no no, black. It's a black sticky rice. Chak hao. Chak hao, right? So in Thai we call khao niao dam. Last time um in the festival, in many festival that I attended, they serve this khao niao dam. I'm sorry, yeah, they serve this khao niao dam or black sticky rice with milk on top right even you guys also adding the sugar in it right in thai we also eat the same we have this sticky rice black sticky rice with coconut milk on top even sometimes we mix with um taro in the black sticky rice bitter bean bitter bean in um manipuri it's called yongjak right in thai we call sato which we mostly fry with that what do you call it? yeah yeah trim paste mm -mm -mm, yeah trim paste and fresh shrimp one i really like this bitter bean store or yongjak a lot i really like um one many brie yongjak menu is amotpa i'm not sure you guys mix with um king chili from the fish and Oh yeah, and potato, boiled potato, and then you mix it. Mmm, very tasty. Yeah, I like that one a lot. And also next vegetable is kalenka. <coughs> kalenka that, you know, it's a vegetable root, white one. You guys call lok lei, lok lei. We call ka, ka. This kalenka is a um, secret recipe for tom yam, famous Thai menu. And the next one is uh, Fruity Roslel. So in Manipur, maybe you guys call Shogri Mapan. In Thai, we call Gratiap. 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 Narak. Gratiap. Yeah. Gratiap. The red one. So actually, we make juice out of this. 
um yeah you guys also make juice about this as well but you guys meet with tea or something like versal tea or something last time i i tested this in oh shit i forgot the name of the shop uh, okay i will add the name here yeah that one good smell and very tasty all right the next one is dress dress very common for every female every manibur female right well the one that you guys wear is pane in thai we call patung olden thai olden thai style we literally wear this pane instead of wear pants um. and you know jeans stuff we wear this pane as well even when we go to take a bath we also wear pane oh, until here and then we go to take a bath at the shore of the river we also take a bath like that i remember like, like i mean when i was young i saw my grandma still wearing this patung still wearing this pane even my mom also i saw my mom she she wore this pane but nowadays they don't anymore yeah time change things change well okay for male for male as well we wear it we wear the same all right in in Manipur, it's um kude, right? So in Thai, we call pa khao ma, pa khao ma, which is this the pattern very very same. It's a exact you know pattern. Yeah, so very interesting. Next is dance, Manipur dance and Thai dance. Very very similar. Like um okay. When I study in Shandiniketan, right? I got to choose for my secondary subject. Well, I chose... There was like two dances. Oh, three types. Three types of dance, maybe. One one was a Manipur dance. The second is Katakali dance. And third, I, 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 I cannot remember well, but I think it's... um. Rabindranath Go dance. Yeah. So in Manipur, you call Jako, right? Jakoi. Jakoi. In Thai, we call Ram. Ram means Ram, yeah, R U M, Ram, same as an alcohol one. It means um, dance. And then finally, I chose my secondary as a Manipur dance because I really feel like Manipur dance and Thai dance have so many things in common, so many similar things. And I also thought that it would be easier for me to, you know, remember and do this dance. Yeah, for example, Thai dance is like this, right? We have like this, like this, like this. Showing that. Yeah, we have like this, this one here. Um, yeah, like this, moving like this, moving like this, like this. Manipuri is like some yeah something like we also have something like similar. So those are similar things that I discovered between Thai and Manipuri. Alright, so I wish I could do more similar things between Thai and other Northeast Indian states. Of course, if I could, I would. All right. And yeah, I'm so happy to know that we have so many things in common. It's like sister brother. It's lovely, right? I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, I, if I could, I would really would to do, you know, more explore and discover between us. And thank you for watching. Anyway, um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting. Bye!